Today we'll be playing a horror game that I have not yet played. Um, as you might be able to hear, I have lost my voice, but hopefully that's going to be fine with you guys. I can't really help that at all. Uh, but yeah, let's jump straight into it. Uh, if you're wondering why it's light in my room, it's because it's light outside, so I can't really make it that dark. And um, it's light spring in Finland, so it's always light outside. December 11th, 1994. My brother Ethan is missing, has been missing for around 24 hours, is I guess what that's meant to say. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday. I went to the local police. They said they don't have the resources for a search right now. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Yeah, wait, is that even a resource problem? Isn't there like a time limit you actually have to wait, uh, wait out before you can actually like... Notify people of a missing person's case, or before they actually even like consider taking it in, like even if they do have the resources. Oh, this. Hopefully, this game isn't like actually about just driving around because this car is. <laughs> it's not fun to drive at all. The controls are garbage for the car. Wait, what did I see there? Oh, we can actually go backwards as well. Um. What's that? Was that like a deer sign or... I couldn't really tell. For whatever reason, it's really grainy outside. <laughs> oh, it's just like about it being slippery and stuff, right? Okay. I feel like the biggest horror so far is like just the bad controls. I'm probably gonna die to them before I actually die to like any actual monsters or whatever you have. Okay, there's something ahead. There's a car as well. Oh, the, the rear window actually works. That's cool. Or not, <laughs> not window, mirror. I should park this at the gas station to ask if they saw my f my brother. Um, okay, so is there a parking spot? Oh, there is one. Okay. And we are stealing their... Wait, what? I was going to say we're stealing their gas, but I, I don't see that thing for gas at all. Oh, oh well, let's go in. Is the whole game going to be like grainy? There's no option to actually take the grain away. Hello, you totally normal looking PS1 person. What can I do for you? Okay, I should not be making any special voices for these characters because my throat is already kind of not doing well i'm searching for my brother he was hiking around this area he should have come home yesterday have you seen him what does your brother look like he has brown hair and is pretty wait i'm the missing brother dun, dun, dun. okay jesus christ <laughs> i'm actually gonna just completely lose my voice by the end of this I'm gonna take a sip of water, and I'm not gonna edit that out. Just like I'm not gonna edit out that squeaking from my gaming chair. Let me think for a second. Hmm, yes, I saw your brother. Wait, you saw a tall guy with brown hair? Oh my god. That has to be the right person. Surely you could give like a slightly more detailed explanation of what your own brother looks like. Like... Like, with that, isn't he a tall guy with brown hair as well? He came in here and bought a few things, some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find him. Have you told the police already? Yes, I did, in fact. But they said they don't have the resources for a search right now. They said they only start, start, start the search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. It isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. At least a handful of people went missing there in the last decade. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that people are 
that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. So you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Thanks. I'll make sure to say, stay safe. Take care. Yeah, like isn't... Because the thing about like horror movies is that... that wait, that's... <laughs> what do you want? I'm searching for my brother. Isn't he also a tall guy with brown hair? I'm searching for my brother. Or are we just really short? Maybe that's the case. I'm searching for my brother. He went missing while hiking in this area. Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. Also, you shouldn't ran just randomly approach people like this, especially in this area. What do you mean? Hey, look, man. I work pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. I'm not in the mood to talk with people I don't know. I understand. Sorry for but. Is there a punch button? <laughs> maybe. Okay, I can't punch him, but maybe we can go like full dead by daylight. Ah. Uh. Okay. Ah, uh, wait. Am I supposed to walk down? Or am I supposed to drive? I guess I'm supposed to walk then. So if we walk off the road, there's actually wildlife. So the thing I was about to say is like, obviously characters in like horror movies and games. Wait, what? I don't think I should go this way. Oh, so I do have to use my card then maybe. The thing about horror movies and games is that the characters don't know that they're in horror movies or games. So like, obviously I, this guy should be worried about like getting eaten by a wild animal or something, not really like about whatever monsters we're gonna encounter out there. Okay, I... Why isn't there like a way to interact with the car anymore? Aren't we supposed to stay by the road? Okay, let's talk to him again. But we can't talk with him again either. Or him. Hmm. So what am I supposed to be doing? Or maybe I have to stop for a moment and only then go on. Nope. Oh wait, the path goes here. Oh, I thought I had to follow the road. Okay, that <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Mm. I I heard a like a weird noise, but I think that might have been just like in real life, not the game. Because <laughs> the heating thing, it kind of like carries sound from other apartments as well, occasionally. Okay. <laughs> So whenever I see stuff like this from a bit further away with these textures, I'm not sure if it's like a really badly rendered tent or actually just like a rock or stone. So what happens if we do steer off the of the road? Is it gonna, is it going to be like one of those? Because I see light there. Oh wait, or is that? Oh, the path is taking me there anyways. Um, I, ca I kind of imagine that... That, like, steering too far from the road will just have, like, an ending where, like, a random animal just shows up and kills me. <gasps> oh my god. Whoa, whoa, who the f*** are you? You scared the shit out of me. Okay, oh my god. Okay, I, I think that may be a bit too much swearing in a very short period of time, so I actually do have to edit some stuff out here. There's no way YouTube spots don't. <laughs> I scared you. I almost had a heart attack myself. What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking in this area. Have you seen him? Nope, I haven't seen him. Wait, you don't even know how he looks like, what he looks like. Look, man, I'm just some guy that likes to hike. 
in a woods and sleep in a tent in freezing, fre- <laughs> freezing conditions. I haven't seen anyone in days. Wait, you're literally like... <laughs> okay, I was gonna say like a Finnish saying, but I don't think... A deer's piss away is actually a saying in English, so it doesn't really make sense. Uh, but like you're basically next to the gas station, excuse me. I understand. You're planning to go deeper in the forest. Yes, I'll search around the area. I hope I can find my brother or at least traces of him. Look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something, but last night I had my tent a bit up north and I heard weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying. <gasps> Ooh, I think we know what this is. It's a Wendigo, I think. Uh, but I didn't see anything. It creeped me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. A what? Look, man, do you carry? What do you mean? I'm talking about a piece, you know? Something for protection. You mean a gun? No, no, I don't. Then you shouldn't be here in the first place. It's way too dangerous to go deeper into the forest at night. But I'm not going to stop you. I just want to sleep now. Also, one last thing. Don't creep up a tent in the, in the woods at night ever again. I almost would have shot you. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck with the search. I was just left standing there. And I already forgot where the path is. Maybe like this way? Wait, how am I already lost? Okay, the game does stop me from going too far. That's nice. Also, like, it's a forest. Like, for half of the wild animals in a forest, I don't think, like, a handgun is gonna do anything. So I'm not sure why he's, like, asking if I carry. If I do, like, you'd see it, right? If a bear attacks you, a handgun is not going to do anything. You're still going to die. <laughs> um, okay. Ooh. There's ambient noise. Not much else going on so far, though. I guess we had one jump scare of a guy coming out of a tent. I guess I guess technically we are the jump scare there, but <laughs> let's not go too deep into it. Um, I do hate snow and winter, so this is like actual horror for me. Because finally, we're finally getting like the summertime here. So the thing about it is that like in early May, like I think last week or the week before that, it was literally snowing one day. Like <laughs> it seemed like it was finally like late spring to summertime, and then suddenly we just had like a random day of snow. It's snowing. I really don't want to see snow right now, but you know. I technically I did like get the game. I Back when there was just snow on the ground as well. So I should set up my tent here. Is there a specific area? My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build a tent. And the thing about it is that it seems kind of like a dumb idea to just randomly go walking in a forest at dark and just hoping you find someone. It's cold, but I'm falling asleep slowly. And then we actually just die of hypothermia. The end. I think I heard someone scream. Not sure if that was real or imagined. Um, You know, I need to check. It could be my brother screaming for help. Uh, yeah, also... It could be something that they just add into the game that very much does have audio, so I'm kind of confused. There's a light deeper in the woods. I need to see if that could be my brother. Wait. I don't see a light deeper in the woods. But luckily the game does tell me when I'm going the right, uh, wrong way. That's something I really like about the game, actually. Obviously it kind of does take away that sense of like being kind of lost and stuff but in video games unfortunately at some point there's like a point of diminishing returns with the whole getting lost idea 
And at some point you're just getting really annoyed. When you don't know where you're supposed to go. Like, the problem I had with Outlast. Oh wait, does it maybe mean that? I see a light now. The end of the tunnel. Uh... I think this game has a total of three achievements. One was just asking help from that random guy in the store. No idea what the other two are. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Please don't tell me that's... The gas station. No, it can't be, right? Oh no, oh wait, no, it's not, it's not, okay. Uh. Oh. Well, definitely not a gas station. That's my brother's backpack, he must have been here. Weird, the pa backpack is completely empty, nothing here. Yeah, that's a bit suspicious. <laughs> Let's go in. There's totally not like a bunch of... Serial killers in there. Uh, inspect the pictures. What the hell? Someone t made a picture of my tent and my car. Took a picture. Still their food. Um... Th this seems like this is kind of a health hazard, right? Not really responsible. Nothing in the closet. Is there anything else I could interact with? Oh, we could take a knife. Or we, well, we can't, but, you know, in a different game we could. Okay. Yeah. Your body was never... Wait, that's it? Is that the ending of the game? Wait, is that like... Does me dying or is that how the game actually ends? I mean, it is funny, but it's <laughs> a bit anticlimactic. Hopefully I was... <clears throat> My totally real reaction seemed genuine as well. Because whenever I get scared, I actually do that face. Uh, but yeah, well, luckily that means it's an easy day for my already gone voice. Uh, so that's a positive. Do I like the game? Ah, it's fine. I was kind of expecting a bit more, but then again, this is significantly better than the the English one, the subway one. First of all, it, this one doesn't take place in England, so that's a huge plus. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. I, I kind of almost like the kind of PS1 looking character designs and stuff. But I, w I wonder if that's like a bad ending or if there is like another way the game can end. Probably not another way. I, I think that might just be the exact way you're supposed to play the game. But who knows? I'm going to try to edit this video down... Because uh, I do think there was a bit of swearing earlier. Um, and hopefully it ends up being a good video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out my Twitch as well. I'm Jerry Mulani there as well. And uh, hopefully by the next time I'm making any sort of content, I'll actually have my voice back. So <laughs> it won't be such a struggle to go through. But yeah, dudes, dudettes and everything in between. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.